All right, so this is a pneumatic Heti 160. So here it is. Basically, it's the same as a Henry, but it's got the eyelashes and it's a pink color. So if you love pink, then this is your vacuum. You got the tools on the back. So these areas right here on the back of the bucket are where you pop your tools on. So right here, you've got the dusting brush with very soft bristles. I believe they're horsehair bristles. This is your crevice tool for your corners and edges. They stack up on top of each other. Then you just pop that on the back like so. This is your adapter tool, I'll show you what that's for later. And this is your stair tool with a removable brush. You can have just straight suction or have the agitation brush attached. And that also goes on the back like so. This is your power cable, I believe it's 10 meters long. And when I plug it in, the light comes on to show you that it's got power. I like this cable rewind design because it's reliable and there's no springs attached, it's just human powered, so that's brilliant. This is your power switch, there's only one single speed on this. There's no twin speed setup, so it's just on and off. And yes, it really is that quiet. Undo the clip on the side and same on the other side as well. The lid lifts off, remove your filter. And this is the bucket where you put your bag in. So I'm putting a new bag in right now. This is a pneumatic HepaFlow genuine bag, which also has a sealable tab right here, as you can see, so you can just close that and it's supposed to prevent large bits of dirt from spewing at the bag when you empty it. Although it doesn't really work that well because the seal gets quite, it gets quite bent and then the lid won't fit on anymore. But yeah, there's a filter, pop that on, put on your lid, smack that clip, smack that clip, and there's your vacuum cleaner already. I like how the hoses are screwed in so they won't come off, no matter how hard you pull, unless you damage the hose. But as for the connection, that is a really secure fitting. They don't click in, they just screw in, so that's, extremely robust so this is the hose obviously like filling the vacuum in general you can remove the handle and use that to clean the edges and above the floor whatever but also you can remove the hose cuff like so and separate that from the bent handle then what you can do is either use it as it is quickly because that's why it's angled so you can use it without any tools or attach the adapter tool on and then you can put on your tools because the tools won't fit onto the end of the hose cuff directly so that's why you have the adapter so you can use it like that. How convenient. So this is your suction control. You can reduce the suction and it has a bit of foam in there. So it insulates the noise of the suction leaking out and hissing, but it doesn't hiss because of that foam obviously. No telescopic tubes for added robust durability. They just pop into each other and there you are. They're not gonna collapse in use like some meter vacuums do because they have faulty telescopic ones from time to time. But yeah, that's the Henry or Hetty in this case. This is the floor tool as well, standard floor tool, as you can see, plastic base, two little rubber roller wheels, that's nice that they are rubber, and then your hard floor mold to push the bristles out, and that's basically it. And there's your park bracket on the back as well. So what you can do with that is pop the wand on the back of the machine with the floor tool, and it stands upright like that. Right, I'm gonna clean up this mess now. It's literally just rocks, so let's give it a go. So that is the pneumatic Heti, H-E-T 160. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for another bigger demonstration on this pneumatic Heti. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.